Christianity is played out. This is from a video, and I'll put this up raw. The video is uh, the Israelites are the most talked about on YouTube. And this is focusing on a video that was put up by a Ben X entitled uh, Why Can't the Israelites and Muslims Unite for Black People? Well, black, black people, there's really no such thing as black people. Because no one on the planet Earth is black. Um, and just based upon this, the original video that this individual did, proves one thing, he's totally and completely lost. He thinks that an Israelite is like a, a name that we came up with. Like we got a group, let's bring a group together. Uh, let's call ourselves the Israelites. As opposed to people calling themselves the Nation of Islam, which is an organization. So, we can never get together because, number one, you're Israelite. You're not Muslim. You're not the Nation of Islam. And we're not black people. And, um,. You clearly don't know the scriptures. You don't know the prophecies. You don't, you don't know what time you're living in. You don't know what major prophecy is getting ready to come. They don't know. To show you that uh, the Nation of Islam or any of the, black, the so-called black consciousness movement, any of them, you name it, they're lost. They don't know what's going on. They don't, they don't realize that the world is going to be, the whole planet is going to be introduced to the microchip. And they don't know it because they don't understand the scriptures. Anyway, I put this video together a couple of days ago. And there was a, I guess this guy's an Edomite. If you can see the, uh, the comment. It says, uh. Brothers, with all humility and humbleness, please listen to this. Those that are under the law are bound by it like a marriage until death. Well, when you come into this truth, you got to come under the law. If you was eating pork, you got to stop eating pork. If you had a smooth faith, face as a man, you have to grow, grow a beard. All right, you have to keep the Sabbath. You know, and for these Idiots out here that say the law is done away with. I would like, like all you Christian men to dress up like women for now on. Dress up like women for now on. Let your let your women dress up like men and let your men dress up like women. Just to so just to so that you're not under the law. Because the Messiah never said, "Don't dress up like a." a Men are not supposed to dress up like women, and women are not supposed to dress up like men. That's just one law. You Christian men, to show that you're not under the law, you men dress up like women from now on. Anyway, it says, uh, Jesus Christ which Jesus is not even a word. It's a two sound, a two syllable uh, sounds. G and sus, which means nothing. It's, it, it, it's, well, that's the English way of saying the Lord. No, it's not. No, it's not. Jesus means absolutely nothing. And Christ is Latin and or Greek for um, anointed. If we are baptized and die in Christ, we are set free. Get it? And he, and he said we as if the Lord came for everybody. The Lord did not come from, for everybody. The Lord came for the sons and daughters of Israel, starting with the elect. It says, uh, now we are saved by faith. He said we again. 
you, you were saved by you saying you're being a part, putting yourself a part of we, are you an Israelite? Because if you're not an Israelite, the Lord didn't come for you. Now we are saved by faith through His grace, not our works, but we must walk in spirit, not of the flesh. The truth shall set you free, which you don't have the truth. And you're going to give up. So what I did was, I um, put a comment. It says, the Lord died for the Israelites. So Max M comes back and says, he died for all that repent, believe in him, and walk in the spirit, not, not of the flesh. Well, the Lord's, well, you'll, you'll see it in the, in the uh, comments that I put up. It said, bro, you have to look at it from the point of view that God already knew what he was going to do. God already knows the future. He knows what we all, what we all will do. He made a way for those that sin under the law to be redeemed definition of redemption I'm not which I'm not going to read so he's going to that we stuff that the Lord came for everybody the Lord did not come for every everyone the Lord only came for the children of Israel the Bible that we read out of uh, it's it's a book for the sons of Israel the sons and daughters of Israel Then he puts up another comment. The scary thing is to misinterpret, and that's what they always, we, we you know, the Esau is always correct. The white man is always correct. Somehow we're reading it the wrong way. It said the scary thing is to misinterpret the scriptures and deceive people to keep the law and they all die in their sins. Did not the Lord? Did, did, did not the our Lord tell the a rich a rich Israelite, a rich man? He said, "How do you get into the kingdom of heaven?" And he said, "Keep the laws." That's in the book of Matthew. I believe it's Matthew's the nineteenth chapter. Which, I, matter of fact, you know what? Let me get it. Let me let me let me let me bring it up. I believe it's Matthew's the nineteenth chapter. Matthew's 19 if I'm not mistaken and I believe it's a 16 verse let's see if I'm correct bear me for a minute okay Let's start from uh, uh, 16 verse. Let's start from the 16 verse. Hope you can see it. Matthew's 19 verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said, The Lord said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is he, the Most High. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. What commandments was he talking about? He's 18 verse. He saith unto him, which? The Lord said, Thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. So what law was he quoting out of? He was quoting out of what they call the law of Moses. So you got to keep the commandments. Now, is keeping the commandments going to save you? No, you got to you you're saved by grace. So now let's go back. So I come back and I said he did not die for white people. He's coming back to destroy them. 
And then there were some other comments put up by other individuals that I'm not going to read. I'm not going to read. Well, you know, no, I'm reading uh, GMS Fear of the Most High, 7BA. The rest, the rest is for the people Joshua led into the promised land, Hebrews 4, verse 8 to 10. For if the Lord had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. So I come back on Max M. You are in over your head, son. Just move on with your nine, knowing the scripture self. So basically, I insulted him. I said, man, you, you, you are out of your league. So he comes back, but he doesn't come back to me. He comes back to GMS, Fair the Most High, 7BA. I need to reread this interpretation to verify it. That, that's a white man. I got to verify it. You know, he's the expert. Oh, boy. So I come back to Max M. The people that reign a thousand years with the Messiah are the Israelites, my man. So Max M. Comes back and says, uh, Tell me then if God only loves Israel. Why did God send Noah to warn the city of Nineveh a day with Gentiles? Now the real reason was because you had Israelites in the in the land of Noah, just just like uh, uh, Lot. Lot comes in mind. Lot and his family. The angels came to to save Lot and his family. They didn't come to save the rest of those people because. When you go back to that account, the Lord went back and forth with Abraham concerning the righteous. There's 50 righteous, he would save that place. There wasn't 50 righteous. If there's 40 righteous, it wasn't 40. If there's 30, on down to 10, there wasn't 10 righteous. So he would have saved that place, even though those people were of other nations. But the reason why um, Nineveh was spared is because of Most High, because they repented. And those people that repented were Israelites. But Nineveh got destroyed any damn way. Okay, he puts another one up. Um, Max M. To myself, Jeremiah 9, verse 24. But let him who boasts, boasts in this, that he understandeth and uh, knoweth me. He should have started the 23rd verse. That I am the Lord who exercise loving uh, devotion, uh, justice, and righteousness on the earth. For I delight in these things. Declare, declare the Lord, behold, the days are coming. Declare the Lord, when I will punish all who are circumcised, yet uncircumcised, Egypt, Judah, Edom, uh, the children of Ammon. Right, he's going to punish all of them. So I don't even know why you put that uh, comment up, that scripture up. Then he puts another one, Max M. Jesus, which that's not his name. The Samaritan woman, which he should have never <laughs> brought that one up. It says, uh, uh, John uh, 4, verse 21 to uh, 24, Our fathers worship in this mountain, but you, but you Jews say that. Now that's showing you right there that she's not a Jew. She's not an Israelite. She was a, she was a, a transplant in the land of Samaria, and that goes back to the history, Second Kings, the seventeenth chapter. But you Jews say that the place where one must worship is in Jerusalem. Believe me, woman, the Lord replied, "A time is coming when you will worship the Father on this mountain. It should be you will not worship the Father." In this mountain, nor in Jerusalem, you worship what you do not know. We separating her from from them, the Israelites. We worship what we do know. For salvation is of from the Jews. 
But the time is coming and has, let me read more, come when the true true worshipers, which are the Israelite, the Jews, will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such as those to worship him, the most high spirit, spirit and his and his worshipers must worship him in spirit and spirit and truth. Those are the Israelites. So he told he told the woman he, to he put the woman in her place. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and get that. Cause you're reading from a different version. You're not reading from uh, the King James. Okay. Okay, she says in the 20, 20th verse. John 4 verse 20 Our fathers worship which our fathers were of another nation worship in this mountain and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship our Lord saith unto a woman believe me the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the, worship the Father ye worship ye know not what we know what we worship, uh, we, we worship. She wasn't a part of the we, which are the Israelites. She was of another nation. For salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers, which are the Jews, the Israelites, not just the Jews, the Israelites, shall worship the Father in spirit and the truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. So who does he seek such to worship in? The Israelites. So now let's go back. Come back.